Hey, Tim Schatz here again for C4D Training. Today I just have a quick tip for you regarding the picture viewer when you're rendering off. So let's say you have a scene and you apply some settings to it for the render and you render it off and you're kind of like, hmm, I'm not sure if that's really what I want or do I want something different? So then you change the settings and say you render it again and you're kind of like, yeah, I kind of like that, but you know, it'd be really nice if I could compare that to the previous render. Well, let me uh, show you a little thing here. So here I have a scene set up and I'm just going to render it off, but first I'm going to change this little setting here. I have ambient occlusion and global illumination on. I'm going to go ahead and take off global illumination and I'm going to go ahead and say render to picture viewer and we'll let that render. All right, so there we go. There's our render and that's with just the ambient occlusion on. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close my picture viewer, go back up to my render settings and turn on global illumination close that and just say render to picture viewer we'll let that go ahead and render okay so that's gone ahead and rendered as well now let's say we want to compare those two if I come over here to there's my first one and my second one so I can kind of just switch back and forth that way or maybe I want to see them side by side so if I select the first one and I hit the A key this little A appears right here and then if I select the second one and I select B, a little B appears there, as well as this little dividing line here. And you can move that and see and compare them side by side to see which one you like best. So a few other things here. You can come up to your compare and you can do your AB compare, just turning it on and off. You can set your A and B here as I did with the A key and the B key. We can swap A and B, just it switches which one is shown where. We can do difference, which will highlight the difference between the two. And then in order to turn that off, I just go back up to the difference. And if I don't want my line to be horizontal, I can come up and say swap vertical horizontal, and it'll change my line so that I can see it this way if I need to. come up and say you know show line right now it's not showing the line but I can still see the difference there and you can show text which just shows you which is A and which is B up here at the top so hopefully you guys will find that helpful thanks for watching I'm Tim Schetz C4D training take care